Now in a previous video, I showed you how to create effects throws without having to use automation. But in this video, I think I found a better way, using lanes. But to review, let's take a look at how we used to do this before. I have a vocal track right here with some spaces in the vocal. Let's say we wanted to create some delay throws in these spaces. Let's see what it sounds like now. So again, I want to create some delays in these spaces to fill out the vocal. So we start by creating a new track, insert new track, I'll name it delay, and we'll use this as an effects return. Go to the effects on this track, we'll type in delay in the filter, and we'll use the read delay plugin. Double click it, it looks like this. And because we're using this as an effects return, we don't need the dry signal, just the wet. I'll adjust the feedback for more repeats. And I'm also going to add a panning plugin so the delay pans back and forth. I'm going to choose ping pong pan, adjust the width to be as wide as possible, and the speed to be a bit faster. Now we can send the vocal to this track by dragging the routing and dropping it. It creates this send. And let's hear what it sounds like now. But as you can see, it gets messy as every line is being delayed. We just want to put this on certain lines to fill the spaces in the vocal. So normally we'd use automation. We'd mute it and turn it on when we needed it, like this. Creating a cleaner effect. But I want to do this without automation. So instead, we'll duplicate our vocal track and put the delay there instead. So I'm going to start off by copying these effects. Then we could delete this track and duplicate this track instead. Right click, duplicate tracks. I'll name this vocal delay. Then we'll go to this track, which already has a compressor and an EQ on it. And add those effects after. By pasting it, we have the delay and our pan. And again, the delay is set to no dry signal. So this delay vocal isn't going to have the dry sound, just this one. So if we mute it, it just has the delay. So the dry signal is coming from this track. I'll bring the volume down a bit. But again, it's not going to delay every vocal line. And again, that's too messy. So instead, we could, like we did in the previous video, just edit out the sections we don't want to delay. But a quicker way to do this is using lanes. So what I'm going to do is right click this track, go down here and turn on fixed item lanes. So now this track is using lanes. Make it a bit bigger to see it better. Now we can right click it, go down here to comping, and choose comp into new empty lane. If we choose that, it makes a new lane, which we're comping into. And it starts off with nothing, so nothing is going to be delayed. But we can use our comping tool to drag to different sections, and just those sections are going to be delayed. And we can delete them by holding down Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and just redraw based on the sections we want. And notice by default, we get a fade in and a fade out, making the delay sends as smooth as possible. So let's delete this and just choose this line. Now, just this line will be delayed. Do the same here for the word high. I keep a head high. Never look back. And back. Never look back. No stopping now, I'm on the right. Do the 
the scene for this. Very quickly, we could choose our lines or retweak them like this to choose the phrases we want to delay. No stopping now, I'm on the rise. Let's hear it all back. So this is the fastest way I figured out to do this, but it's also more precise, as you can very quickly adjust the phrases we want or don't want right from here. Just delete them and start again to just draw the phrases we want. Or delete them on the fly or extend them section by section. And we're done, just right click over here and disable the lanes. Now it looks like this. Let's make it smaller. At any point, we want to go back and re-edit it. Just right-click, enable lanes, double-click this, and recomp our lanes. And we're done. Choose this again, and it hides those lanes. And now we have a separate track for the effects throws, which we're using for delay, but we could use for any effect we want, where we just want certain phrases to have that effect which makes it a lot more flexible. So I can adjust the volume for each over here, or even readjust the sound of this track in here. Again, we had a compressor and an EQ, then our delay and our pan. We could also filter this with another EQ. Let's double click, add another EQ, which we could use as a filter. Let's filter out the low end, change this, to a low pass filter and filter our delay like this. Or have the filter change over time by choosing the frequency, going up here to the last touched parameter, and using parameter modulation. We could turn on the LFO. Adjust it to the tempo sync of four quarter notes. Readjust the strength to not move as far. Adjust the phase and the baseline to adjust our filter just in the section we're adjusting. And again, we could do this with any effect we want. Instead of doing this with a delay, let's turn these off. Let's use a reverb instead. I'll choose reverb. I'll use a file I downloaded from the internet, which I'll leave a link to in the description below for some free IRs. I'm gonna choose auto park. Again, we'll turn down the dry and just have the wet. So just those lines have that reverb. Or you could put this reverb on the delay. Turn these back on. Change this to have some dry, which is really going to be our delay, pan, and EQ, or filter. Now we added that reverb to all of it. Or without the filter. Or with or any effect we choose. Let's try a different one. Maybe a tremolo. And again, this effect is only going to happen on the lines we chose by comping in the lane. Bring up the amount. 
and the frequency, just those lines are going to have tremolo on them. Or we could put it on the delay. Or the delay and pan. Or with the filter. And finally, with our reverb. So any combination of effects or specific effects you prefer can be turned on and off with this method. Just by using our lanes and comping into them using the comp tool. Just choose the line we want and just that line will have the effect. So that's pretty much it. That's effects throws using lanes in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Oh!